Hi and welcome to the second ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. In this video I'm gonna talk about selection, how you can select objects and things of that nature. So in order to select an object you first have to have one. Uh, we have these elevations but before we actually go into demonstrating how the arrow tool works let's just draw out a few walls. So I'm gonna zoom in I'm going to make sure that my wall tool is selected. Uh, here I'm going to change the geometry method by clicking and then uh, hovering over this first icon. And the geometry met method now is set to single and not chained as it was before. Uh, so I'm just going to hit one click and one click. Let's do another one. And let's do maybe a horizontal one. If you have watched my previous tutorial uh, I demonstrated there that if you want to draw a straight up or down line you just have to hold down the shift key. So I did one click there now I'm holding down the shift key and the wall is going straight. So I'm just gonna do another click over there. So we have these three walls. Now let's go to our arrow tool and select it. You can select um, an object or an element in ARCHICAD by hovering over it and with the arrow tool selected just clicking. This is how you select an object in ARCHICAD. Um, a way to select multiple objects is by holding down the shift key after one is selected. So let's escape. We should select one object, hold down the shift key and select the next one and then another one and we have three objects selected in this way. If you want to deselect something either click outside or hit escape. Okay, so another way to select multiple objects is by drawing a rectangle. With the arrow tool selected you can just hit two clicks, draw a rectangle and all of your three objects were selected. As you saw I draw a rectangle that um, enclosed all of our three walls and obviously all of them got selected. Let me show you different selection methods from the arrow tool. If we click on this button here and make sure we have the first option selected, uh, if you draw, uh, this is the partial element selection. So it will select um, objects that are either totally or just partially in the rectangle that you draw. So let's say we draw a rectangle from here to here it selected both of them even though this one was just partially inside. Now we deselect everything. If again we go up here and select the second option which is the entire element selection option then if we do the same rectangle we can see that we only selected one and not the other because this one was only partially inside the rectangle that we drew. Okay and with the third option if you go and do a rectangle from left to right it only selects um, totally enclosed elements. If you go from right to left, it selects both um, totally enclosed elements and partially enclosed elements as well. So that is basically the three options of selections that you have here. Another thing to remember is that you can... I'm gonna go back to the partial element selection. And here in the second button you can uh, have different ways of drawing the selection area. Now it, it is set on the second one which draws out a rectangle, but if we select the first one we can draw whatever shape that we like. Okay, and with the third option you do a rotated rectangle, so you can go like define the first um, angle of the rectangle and then just go like that. So I'm just gonna leave the regular rectangle option selected. Okay, so that is how you select elements with the arrow tool activated. Next I'm gonna show you how you can select elements while you are actually um, on a different tool. So let's say you have just worked with the slab tool and you don't want to click back on the arrow tool to select something. You just wanna select it and if you click you can see that you're actually going to start drawing a slab because your slab tool is activated. I'm gonna hit escape and I'm gonna select this wall by holding down the shift bar and you can see this way the elements 
get highlighted and when I want to select one of them I just click. So by shift and clicking we can also select elements. Also by shift and clicking we can draw uh, selection areas just like if the arrow tool was active. If we start clicking without holding down the shift key whatever tool is activated it's gonna do its job so you're gonna draw a slab or you're gonna do a stair whatever tool you have activated there. Uh, whenever you want to stop doing something that you started doing you just hit escape. Okay so next let's draw out a fill. I'm just gonna select my fill tool I'm gonna leave all of these settings as they are and I'm just gonna do one click, two clicks, three, four, five and six. Okay and if I want to select this this fill again I can hover over it make sure it gets highlighted hold down the shift key and then click okay and even if you hover on the edge the same thing it gets highlighted and you can click and select it if we have our arrow tool selected we can see that this quick selection is activated if we deactivate it we can see that now if I hover over the element it doesn't get highlighted it only gets highlighted when I hover over the edge same with this wall I'm gonna zoom in a little bit if I hover on top of it it doesn't get highlighted so it's not ready to be selected like this what you need to do is hover over the edge when I work in ARCHICAD I pretty much all of the time make sure that this quick selection is activated because it's easier to select elements if you can select them if, um, also just by hovering on top of them. Okay the next thing that I want to show that I find is pretty important it's let's say that you have a bunch of objects on top of each other so we have here a um, fill let's select our slab tool and draw out a slab right on top of this fill. You can do that either by space clicking, so if we hold down the space bar on the edge of the fill or in the middle of the fill, we will have had a slab over here generated. I'm gonna actually undo and I'm gonna show you that you can also do this slab without the space bar, but I am gonna select this first option of drawing out my slab, which is by drawing out a polygon. Okay, and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and six. So right now over here we have one fill and one slab on top of each other. If we hold down the shift key, we can see that we can only select the slab. So let's say that I would like to select the fill below this. What I'm gonna do is um, deselect my slab tool or either by uh, activating the arrow tool or another element let's go to the arrow tool directly I'm gonna hold down the shift key and instead of clicking I can see that this little uh, information box is popping up and it's showing me that I'm what I have highlighted is my slab if I want to select my fill I'm actually going to press tab while ho holding my shift key down and now we can see that the information box says that we are highlighting the fill. If I click now, I'm going to have my fill selected. I'm actually gonna right click and say move, drag, and do one click over here, one click over here. And we can see this is the fill that we selected before and the slab that was on top of it. So now I'm holding down my shift key and I have my slab highlighted but if I want to select the fill, either I go over on the fill or over here I can just hold down the shift key and uh, also click on the tab key. So this is how you select between different elements that are on top of each other by uh, holding down shift and then hitting tab. And the info box will help you to identify the different elements. Another important thing to know when using this shift and tab option for switching between different elements so that you can select them is that if let's say here we have a slab and a fill but if we activate our fill tool and we hover over here it is automatically going to assume that you want to select the fill so you can't if you hit I'm hitting tab now but it doesn't switch between the fill and the slab because the fill has a priority because the fill tool is selected 
if I select any other tool, so let's say I'm going to select this object tool, then the shift and tab option works, so you can switch between the different elements. So that's an important thing to remember, if you can't actually select something that's on top of each other, it's because maybe you have um, a tool selected out of the two, which prevents you to switch between different things. ARCHICAD automatically assumes that you want to use with the type of elements of the tool selected. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit downwards. And what I'm going to do now is select my line tool. I'm going to leave over here the chained geometry method. And I'm going to draw a few lines over here. One, two clicks, three clicks, four, and five. And I'm going to do my final click here in the end. And now, and this way, ARCHICAD will know that I'm done drawing out this line. Okay, so let's say I want to select this last line over here. If I hover on top of it and holding down the shift key, I can see it highlighted and then if I do a click, we can see that not only this one got selected, but this whole entire group. That is because when we draw with the chain option or with the uh, rectangular options or rotated rectangular option, what ARCHICAD does is that it automatically groups them. So these are four different elements, but they are grouped. In order to be able to select just one of these elements, I'm going to actually hit escape once. And you can see by hitting escape once the uh, guidelines that was generated when I hovered over this line disappeared. Now it appeared again because I hovered again. I'm going to hit escape and then once again I'm going to hit escape so that the lines aren't selected. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to go here in my toolbar and uh, activate this suspend group option. So now all of the groups that we have in ARCHICAD are suspended. So we work with, not with groups, but with individual elements. So if I hover over this line and select it, we can see that it's selected just by itself. If I deactivate this button, all of them get selected because now the groups are active, they are not suspended. Another neat way of selecting and actually finding different elements in ARCHICAD is by using the Find tool. But before I'm going to show you how that works, let's just draw a different fill. I'm going to leave the, all of these settings as they are. I'm just going to draw a random fill over here. I'm going to select it and I'm going to change the color of it. So from gray, I'm going to do orange. And now I'm going to activate my line tool. I'm going to change the color before I start drawing. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select this red color. And I'm going to draw some lines over here as well. Okay, now I'm going to activate my Find option by hitting Ctrl and F. This Find and Select option is very useful when you have a really complex project and you want to find um, only specific uh, elements based on their characteristics. So let's say I want to select all of the red lines in my project. What I can do is either go here on this arrow and select my line and then add different characteristics. So I'm gonna hit add once. I'm gonna open this floor plan and section option. I'm gonna uh, hit here line pan and I'm gonna add this characteristic over here. But as you can see over here the color is gray. What I want is actually the color of this line over here. So I'm just gonna click over here. I'm gonna hold down my alt key and now this water droplet tool is activated so if I hover with it over an element you can see that it copied it, its characteristics and now uh, we have here the color that we want to actually have so what I'm gonna do now is hit the plus button over here and you can see all of the red lines with the color 8 are selected I'm gonna hit escape until the elements are deselected and if I want to close this, I can just hit Ctrl F again and it disappears. Okay, so these are the most important things you need to know uh, when it comes to selecting different elements and objects in ARCHICAD. Hopefully this was useful and I will see you in my next video. Bye!